Hi guys, I just got back from school and right now it's currently 5.38 p.m. So I just want to show you everything that I got from the store today. But the main reason why I went to the store today is because I want to buy a pink plate but suddenly it's restocking so I didn't get to buy it. But I did get a few things. So I just want to show you this first. Um, my friend gave this to me like earlier and I love it so much. It's so cute And it's also pink because she knows that I love pink and I love her for that Okay, so now moving on to the haul um, The first thing that I got is this balloons It's like 10 pieces of balloons. It's like in the apricot color so I'm going to use this because I'm going to take pictures of my cake and also with the balloons because I hit the 100k on TikTok. Like literally, I am just so grateful like I could cry at this moment. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so the next thing that I got is this cupcake line. Um, the main reason why I got this is because of this three because it's giving Valentine's theme. So I got it. So yeah. I'm just a girl, literally. So I'm gonna use this when I'm about to bake. I love it. And the last thing that I got from the store is this cute little pink candle. It's giving like the, what do you call that candle? I forgot what it's called, but it looks exactly just like that, but a smaller version and I love it. So cute and it's pink. And it's in the scent rose so perfect for valentine's i literally love candles so much so i got one if this is so perfect for valentine's i'm gonna use this while i'm going to bake so that's everything i got from the store so the last thing that i got for myself is this bouquet of flowers i feel like valentine's day is not only for your significant other or for couples but it also applies to families and also for yourself and for friends as well so I got myself this cute little bouquet I just got a small one because it's only for myself and I also love it because it's pink I feel like Valentine's Day is such um, underrated um, holiday so I want to celebrate it by doing some self-love and doing some self-care type of vlog literally when i got this i was like really debating whether i'm going to get it because i spent almost ten dollars for this but it's fine it's always fine if it's for myself so i got this i am so happy that i got one for myself this is like my first time receiving one so and it's from me and I love it. I am my own girlfriend, literally. So I'm wishing everyone a happy Valentine's Day. And I hope you have an amazing Valentine's. I hope this lasts like tomorrow because I'm gonna go take pictures with it for my 100,000 um followers on tiktok like a little celebration i love it so so much i'm the happiest girl i literally romanticize little things okay so we've come to the part of the video where we're gonna do our valentine's day makeup which is really perfect for this video because it's a valentine's day vlog so i'm gonna do a valentine's makeup inspo so to match the vibe i'm currently wearing this um pink 
bow dress. This is from Scyther, by the way, and I so love it so much. And also, my nails is literally gone. I've been really obsessing about get ready with me, so I'm trying to make one for myself. It's just so therapeutic, and I love it so much. I'm just gonna clip my hair back, and here's my makeup pouch. First thing is concealer. I'm just gonna put it right here, and also on my forehead. I don't do foundations. I just use like concealer because. I don't want that full face of makeup, so concealer will do. Also, I'm gonna blend it with a sponge and also set it with the setting spray. By the time you're seeing this, um, Valentine's already passed. So, I just wanna ask you guys what you guys did for Valentine's Day. Just comment down below. Next one is blush. We need lots of blush for this makeup look. I'm gonna use a two different blush. I'm like a blush girly type of girl. It's never too much blush for me. And I like blending my blush, my liquid blush, with a brush because it blends out perfectly. What I hate about um, clothes like this is like it's going up. Like it's not cute, but it's okay. Do I look like I just woke up? Because I did. I just woke up from a nap, so that's why. Next type of blush is I'm gonna use this pink blush um, lipstick. This is like the perfect shade for a blush. So I'm just gonna put it right here. It's a little hard. What I love about pink blush is their packaging is pink and it's so pretty. Of course, I'm gonna blend it with a brush. There we go. Now I'm gonna set it with some face powder. This is just a simple powder since I'm really sensitive. Just gonna do it right here. Okay, so next is for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this Roman um, eyeshadow palette in the shade Roast Fog. And I'm also gonna top it off with this pink blush again, Pink Blush Liffy. Now, moving on to the Roman. I actually don't have any brush to blend this with, so I'm just gonna use my fingers. So I'm gonna go in with this color. And then I'm gonna go in with another palette. This is like my um, highlighter palette, and it also comes with a pink highlighter. So I'm just gonna use that on my inner corners or at this top of my eye. I also did this look on TikTok, so you can go check that out if you want. But it's not a tutorial, it's only a video of me showing off my makeup. That'll do, and of course, I'm gonna use this highlighter that I always use for my inner corners. So I'm gonna do that. Perfect. Next, I'm gonna be doing my lips, so I'm just gonna use this lip tint. to like create that perfect shade of pink it's like my lip liner at this point it does wonders on my lips so i love it but of course i'm also gonna do a lip liner this is from Choo Choo beauty again with the pink blush for my inner lips I'm gonna top it off with some lip gloss. I forgot to do my eyeliner, 
So I'm gonna do my eyeliner first off cam because I get distracted easily and I'm doing my eyeliner. So I'll be right back. Eyeliner is done. So now I'm gonna put on some highlighter again. Some of you guys are asking for like the name of my highlighter or what highlighter I use. I think this is the Parado color palette. I don't know if that's right. I'm gonna do a research about it so you can guys get one as well. It's like a Japanese brand. I don't know, but it's literally Japanese. It literally says made in Japan. So this is the final makeup. I'm just gonna go set it with some setting spray. It's literally so cute. It's giving baby pink makeup, which I really love. I'm obsessed with that makeup look. Happy Valentine's Day, my girlies. And if you want to recreate this look, I'd be happy to see it. So, yeah. It's a very successful Valentine's makeup day today. So, it's finally baking time. First, I'm going to give you guys a little haul for this baking session of mine. So first thing I have is of course my brownie mix. I'm gonna go make some brownies as a first timer. So hopefully this turned out really well. And of course, since it's Valentine's themed, I also bought this cute Valentine's themed sprinkles to go with it. And this is from my like haul on the very first start of the video. So I got this cute little candle to go with my baking. I got this um, cupcake liner so I can put my brownies on it. So I only picked out um, this one for this three designs. So we're gonna use that. So of course, when baking, it's really an essential to put an apron on. So I have mine. Um, this is in like a simple black color. So I'm just gonna put this on and make this a little cuter i'm just gonna all oh, i'm just gonna go ahead and put a bow in the middle of the apron now to top it off i'm gonna go add this cute little bow so now i'm gonna go ahead and get all of the things i need for baking and wish me luck Okay, so it says here I need one large egg, um, one to three cups of water, and then one and a half um, vegetable oil. Let's go ahead and start baking. I already have my egg here. So I saw this TikTok video like her baking brownies for Valentine's. So I had to save it and um, serve it as an inspo. It says here that easy Valentine's dessert. So it's basically brownies. Um, she top it off with some M&Ms. Sadly, I don't have M&Ms right now, but sprinkles will do. So I'm just gonna follow this video. Okay, so now it's finally time to put the brownies on the oven. It says here to bake it at around 20 to 23 minutes. And then after that, we're going to refrigerate the brownies for also um, around 30 minutes before cutting it and adding some toppings. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm so excited to taste it. I feel like it's gonna be so good. Yeah, so let's put the brownies into the oven. Mm. 
So now that the brownies is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and do my frosting. So this is what the frosting looks like. It's not the best, but it's in the right color, which is um, baby pink. So the brownies is out of the oven. I think it's already um, fully cooked because I tried to poke it with a toothpick and it turned out perfectly. So the brownies is finally done. So I'm going to take it out of the oven and I'm going to go put it into the freezer for around 30 minutes before decorating it. A 10 out of 10 for the baking experience because it turned out perfectly like what I wanted to. Okay, so I'm going to go struggle while taking this out of the oven because it's steaming hot, so wish me luck! So the brownies is out of the freezer, so now it's time to decorate it. Of course, we can't forget the sprinkles. I'm gonna go pour it into a bowl. So this is the finished product. It's so pretty and I love how it turned out. So I'm gonna try one. Look at how cute the cupcake liner is. Cheers! She approved. I wish that I could give you some guys because it's really good. And it's giving Pinterest wordy vibes. Yeah. I'd say um, it's a good experience for a first timer like me. And it was super easy to bake but also time consuming. But I love it so much. My setup is so cute and everything. So I'm so happy on how it turned out. Okay, so now it's time for a Valentine's card making. So in this part, I'm going to be making a Valentine's Day card. And guess who it's going for? It's going to be for you guys because I don't have any significant others. So I just thought that might as well make some Valentine's Day card for you guys. It's a little appreciation on a Valentine's Day card. And I feel like that would be like super cute and wholesome. So that's what i'm gonna do for today and i'm also going to have um the brownies that i baked the other day so i'm gonna have this with some strawberry ice cream love a good snack while doing some valentine's day card okay so before we start i want to show you guys what i ordered i think i ordered this way back on um, december and it just arrived like a couple days ago and i ordered a makeup pouch um i ordered this on instagram and i just want to show you because the seller is so kind to like make me a valentine's day special kind of a bag so i'm so so excited to like see it and i know it's gonna be so pretty this is the packaging and look it has a small heart she is my cutter I literally love receiving some packages. It just makes my heart so happy. <gasps> oh my goodness. She's, oh my God. Even the tag looks cute. Oh my God. The fact that this is handmade is just crazy. Um, the seller is so talented, so I love her for that. God, I'm gonna cry. And this is um, actually what I ordered. It's like a little makeup pouch. And it's giving coquette themed, so it's so, so pretty. We have a little envelope going on here, so let's open that. Ooh, I'm sorry. It comes with a bow hair clip. 
I only ordered one thing, but that seller is so, so nice. I love her. But yeah, look at that bow clip. So cute. And the last thing is... Oh my god, stop. It's a cute little stickers. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This is what I love when I'm ordering for like small businesses. And a little appreciation for the bag. Like, this is so so cute oh my god it looks so nice i love it yeah well if you want to like check um her instagram shop i'm just gonna go put the name here so that's that she deserves every recognition this is a valentine's day special by the way and it's so pretty thank you So the Valentine's Day card I made is already done. So this is what he looks like. I just added like a little bow and I also put Happy Valentine's and I love you in the bottom. And when you open it, I have a little letter for you guys. A little emotional writing this. So I don't know. You guys just make me happy like no one else can. I also added some kiss marks my favorite thing when i'm making like a card so i also wrote in here thank you happy valentine's so now i'm gonna go read the letter that i made okay so happy valentine's my loves i hope you are well and living your best life i made this valentine's day card so that you guys know how special each one of you in my heart oh thank you for changing my life and motivate me to just keep on going I wish to every one of you that you will always find happiness and this is also a reminder to never give up on your dreams. You are deserving, loved, and cared for. Happy Valentine's Day, XOXO, precious. So this is what I did for you guys. I hope you loved that little message from me. This is the unforgettable Valentine's Day for me because I get to do things that I love like baking, treating myself, and just making a cute Valentine's Day card. So I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I did. I feel like Valentine's Day is the perfect holiday for me because there's a lot of pink, reds, and just I feel like it's so girly. So I love this holiday so much. It is so underrated. I'm so happy that I get to celebrate it. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Just a reminder that you are loved always and you deserve the whole world. And I'm going to see you on my next one. Bye!